Hi Rebel Teacher Network and Happy New Year. Welcome to 2021. Now, I'm going to start with some tips going into 2021. You know, it feels tough perhaps. It feels 2020 we thought, maybe we hoped that would be the end of that and then 2021 everything's new and everything's different and for pretty much all of us it doesn't feel that different. In England four days in we're back in national lockdown so things don't necessarily feel the new start that maybe people were hoping for. However I know and my message for you is that we can do this, of course we can do this, we've done it before we can do this. And I want to share with you today three tips and strategies and just, you know, pieces of advice, my learning, that perhaps if you're not feeling as calm and as confident that, you know, have that feeling of I can do this right now, that perhaps will help you with that. So the first thing, and this is what I wrote down back in March in the first national lockdown in England, I wrote down two questions. I wrote down what is in my control and what is out of my control and honestly that was really the, the key to what helped me regain some calm in that time. I kept coming back to those questions because so much stuff at the moment, well in all of last year and then just in life generally, isn't in my control and worrying about it doesn't change it and so I'm just expending energy thinking about something that I really have no control over. So I don't have any control at the moment over so much stuff in the world. I don't have control about other people's decisions. I don't have control over other people's actions. All I can do is I can choose, and that, that's the key, you can choose what you do and what you say and what you think and what you believe. And you can choose how you spend your time and so I chose to spend my time on the stuff that was directly in my control rather than the stuff that wasn't. So my first tip is to really think about those questions. What is in your control and what's not? And the stuff that's not, you can either just choose to let it go. Yeah, well, it's not in my control, so I'm not going to spend my time thinking about it, worrying about it, putting my energy into it. Or you think about which aspects of it could be in your control. Could you pair it back so that actually you could have some influence over something? You can't control someone else's behaviour, but you can influence them perhaps in the way that you speak to them and the way that you um, communicate with them. And perhaps you feel like you want to communicate something with someone, but ultimately knowing that you're detached from what they decide to do because you can't control their actions. So first tip, what's in your control, what's not in your control? My second tip, and again, this is kind of born out of my experience of lockdowns, and this time, the third time round, I just noticed when I was watching the Prime Minister's an announcement that I just felt so calm in comparison to the first time round, where I remember watching him on the TV saying, you must stay at home, and I could feel this like rising anxiety in my chest, and this time round, I just thought, okay. Like, I'm calm about it. And I noticed that, and then I tried to unpick maybe why that was. And I think partly it was the control thing, and partly it was about gratitude. It was about knowing that this time round, I'm just focusing on what I have and what I can do and what I'm grateful for in the current situation, not thinking so much about what I can't do and what I want to be able to do and what I can't do at the moment and what I don't have at the moment and all the things that have been taken away and I think that's what I did first time round is I thought about well now I can't do this and I can't do that and I don't have this and that just kind of created this feeling of restriction I suppose and, and we're in big restrictions so of course that was going to be there but just you know feeling like things were out of my control and that were um, not in my kind of sphere. I was looking for things I didn't have. So this time around I'm just going, well, what do I have and what can I do and what can I be grateful for? And so if, for example, you might be missing your friends, of course, of course, like I am, but I'm just thinking I'm so grateful that I can text them and I'm so grateful that I can just be connected by my phone 
and I can be in contact. And I'm just so grateful for that connection that I can have rather than thinking, oh, but I can't go and see them and we can't go out for coffee and I can't do this and I can't do that. I'm just really focusing on the bits that I can do. And so if you're teaching and you're maybe missing teaching your students face to face, of course, like that's a bit of the job that we all love. Like if you're missing that, like maybe you can just focus on what you can do and it's about that connection or it's about those questions that you can ask and the learning that you can see them doing and the um, planning that you can do for when you're going to be back together and you can just focus in on that and be really grateful and really kind of appreciative of what you do have right now rather than what you don't have. Of course you can want for stuff, of course you can hope to invite all that stuff in. You can see my map behind me, like at some point I want to be able to leave my very small bubble at the moment and I want to be able to venture out and explore but of course I miss that but I'm so grateful instead of being able to go across the world and and travel and see new things like I found so much stuff on my doorstep that I didn't know was here so I'm really trying to just be grateful for what I do have so that's my second tip. My third tip is about familiarity so this time round you know you might be thinking oh here we go again we're going back into lockdown we're homeschooling, we're doing online learning, I'm trying to balance working in school and um, providing online lessons, I'm trying to um, cope with not being able to have my family around or whatever it is that you're going through and I know that with familiarity potentially as a downside you can go well I know that last time I cried all the time and I hated it and so you can kind of be dreading that that's going to happen again but again you can focus in on what you know this time that you didn't know last time so this time round you might now know how to run your classroom online and you might not have had any clue how to do that a year ago. You might now know how to homeschool your children and build instruction that you just didn't even know was a thing a year ago. You know, you might know now that you're working from home and that you work well from home if you go for a walk every day and that helps you feel focused and you stop and you have a lunch break. You know, whatever it is, like... Yeah, you might know that there's some bad stuff coming and you might know that it's hard, but you also know that you can do it because you did it before. So you can focus on what you learn from before, what you learned from last time and the time before that. You know, we, we've done this before. You can do it. And I really do believe that whatever happens, I'll handle it. And the reason I believe that is because I have, because I'm still here. So, yeah, I might not have handled it in the best way before. Yeah, things might have been hard before, but I did it. So whatever comes up, I'll find a way through. And, you know, you can borrow that belief. You can take that belief if you like. Whatever happens, I'll handle it. You know from before that you've done it. You know what works. You also know what doesn't work. You know what you might want to change. And so you can really focus in on what you have learned and what's familiar for, for you from your experience before that can help you. So Whatever it is you're going through at the moment, whatever your situation, we're all, you know, I'm talking to teachers all around the world here. So wherever you are, things will be different for you. But things will be different for you as well. They're different to each other, but different for you. Like this isn't normal, whatever normal is anymore. We've lost the track of that, haven't we? So my three tips for you. What is in your control? What's not in your control? Focus on what's in your control. Secondly, Focus on what you can be grateful for right now, what you have right now, what you can do right now, not what you can't do and what you want to do, but what you're not allowed, all that stuff. Just focus on what you have right now and the gratitude. And thirdly, think about what you know and what you've learned already and how that can get you through. And so you can really know and say with confidence, whatever happens, I'll handle it. I've done it before. I'll do it again. I don't know what it is yet, but I will find a way through. And I really hope that that helps you start 2021 feeling calm and confident about the year. We don't know what's going to happen. We can make predictions, but again, that's out of my control. So I'm not going to spend time trying to predict the future. I'm just going to focus on what I have now and what I know now and what I can be grateful for now. So I really hope that's helpful, Rebel Teacher Network. You know, a great start to the year. It's hard. Teaching's hard anyway in the best of times. And right now isn't the best of times. But I really hope that those three tips can help you start the year calmly and confidently. If you want any help, you know where I am. I'm Emma Can. I'm here as part of the Rebel Teacher Network. And just get in touch if I can help you with anything. Right, I hope to see you soon. Bye.